That's so cute. Thank you. I love it. That looks like one of those hand knit things from Nordstrom's or something. You got We're back. We're back at the bins. Thanks for coming with me. We're back. We're back at the madhouse. That is the bins. I'm going to try to explain to you what the lure is of this fabulous place. Yes, you will find a lot of junk in those bins, but there is so many wonderful treasures for people who seriously thrift, people who seriously do this for a living. There are hundreds of people that come through here and you can tell by what they buy that they are resellers. Uh, many are clothing their families and whatnot or sending back to relatives uh, in other countries. Many of them are flea, ma flea market mavens and marvels. <laughs> and they definitely, you'll see them on their phones. You'll see them looking up things on eBay, etc. So it's a lot of fun. There's an Anne Klein there that I thought was kind of interesting, but Anne Klein has diversified so much. They've really gone down on there. When I say diversified, I mean, they used to be a top notch design house as far as um, upper end or department store. And they just got so shoddy that they replaced everything with synthetics. This is a fabulous Juicy. As you know, we've talked about Juicy before. It's very collectible. Everything from their jewelry to their fine leather goods, they do, that is leather there. It's a really nice little wallet. I love that huge oversized um, hinge there. It's kind of like a little jump ring. So I pop that in my basket and I don't honestly get really deep into the some of these things. I don't really fight for the area or anything nobody really fights honestly i think that's kind of an exaggeration or maybe it's different in your area but i've never really seen any serious arguing or anything i've seen more at a regular goodwill than than here at the bins that's a really nice guess and i was talking about how gas purses are highly sought after especially in the european market and they're not high quality but i think it's just the brand here's a vintage dooney really would have been a fabulous buy for me but I don't do this. I even, <laughs> I thought, what in the world? Did they park their car in that thing or something? How do people get their bags so filthy? I think it's someone who just loves a bag so much that they never, ever switch it out. Are you the kind of person that likes to wear a bag forever till it dies? I can get in that habit and I'll wear a bag for, use a bag for like six months. And then I'm like, you know what? I have a ton of bags. I need to bring them all out to see the light of day. Look at that vintage logo on that as well. I, needless to say, I left it. That would have required a lot of explaining <laughs> to sell on the second market or a lot of cleaning on my part. And time is the ultimate luxury, honestly. It is the absolute... Uh, finite thing that we don't get much of so I try not to spend it cleaning here I was looking for a particular brand Hamtaro and I was looking for a hamster house now I'm going to offer you some tips on here so don't miss any of my videos be sure and subscribe and follow all of my thrift with me videos as well as my trips to the bins because I offer nuggets of wisdom and knowledge that uh, comes from a very seasoned reseller i've been reselling and thrifting for the longest time and i've been doing it for fun and also for profit so i do sell on ebay and other venues there's so many now i ran into some good shoes here i found some um those are floor shine. i actually used to sell floor shine when i was a teenager back when people had back when we had real shoe stores remember when we had a lot of real fine shoe stores well i used to sell men's shoes and those were some of the finest floor shine all other shoes then i also passed on some well i actually stuck it in my bin it was a little tiny uh doc martin boot for kids that's a little people look for little people little people can do really well for you especially the obscure ones for example the the child in the wheelchair things like that that will can do very very well those can sell for up to 25 30 sometimes 50 dollars a piece looks like someone took that dooney did you see that she didn't care she took it lots of boots in here lots of shoes here was another interesting bag it was kind of an industrial rubber looking thing not sure what that was but i put it back in there 
and like I said for the shoes uh, you may scoff at some of these but honestly it doesn't really matter if it's a fine shoe people will have them refinished you can still get really good money for them look for the European Churchill different types of um, wingtip shoes for men and people do get them resold especially like I said uh, the European market really loves cowboy boots as well of course if you can find Lou Casey that's always good Larry Mahan uh, not every cowboy boot is a good brand and you may not sell it if it is if it's in need of repair somebody might buy it just for you know tongue-in-cheek fashion or something but if you really want some good money look for those fine leather shoes and boots again still looking at toys I'm always hunting for um, a good resale value on some toys these I could not put back I love the jewel tones on those Christmas ornaments they were really pretty I was surprised they weren't broken and I stuck those in my basket for sure all right looks like we're waiting for the new bins to come out Yeah, it gets a little harried here. Everyone is waiting for these bins to come out. They ask you to stand behind a certain threshold there. There's some lines on the floor. And then what I like this time, which they're changing now, is they actually put two rows of bins. Last time I was here, they were only doing one line. But that's really convenient because there's... Well, it's in actuality, you can get only on one side, though, and or the other. Here are the books. Of course, I've talked about books before. Great v resale value on books. Not all books, though. Get yourself a book scanner if that's your thing. I've never relied on one. I just kind of intuitively know what I th believe will sell because I'm a bibliophile, and I love books, and I'm a teacher, and I kind of know what people find interesting and what people are gravitating towards in the book market stay away from fiction pick up your very obscure cookbooks maybe your vintage ones maybe from a restaurant that is now defunct that was extremely even this one this one's feeding your dog I mean that is that not like an obscure subject matter who makes their own dog food very few people but someone is looking for that book so that's what I'm looking for in books as well but I do stay away from most fiction and um, that kind of thing very obscure textbooks do well as well back to the bags oh my goodness i cannot believe i found a long chomp in amazing condition absolutely amazing condition leather mock crock embossed leather beautifully done in that low-key quiet luxury that long chomp does with their logos quite esoteric and i just love them and i kept looking because there's tons and tons of bags to look through i have found a few there already i've found some laurel birch before that long chomp and of course there's off brands that you just never know people like them for, for whatever reason you can sometimes pick up a piece that you just know is quality recently and i will bring you that video very shortly i picked up a leather handbag at the goodwill and I saw actually it wasn't at the Goodwill, it was at another thrift store. I saw it hanging where they hang their handbags kind of behind the counters. And I could see from the design that it was amazing. I could see when I picked it up and touched it, it was real leather and wonderfully designed. So I looked up the very obscure French name and it said made in France. Lo and behold, when I saw some videos on it here on YouTube, they tell me that this brand is actually spoken in the same circles as Hermes. 
and they retail for around 10k and I did find them on posh selling anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000 different designs different styles of course but I can't wait to bring you that and definitely use those hands a lot of people say why don't you wear gloves you're gonna cut yourself whatever whatever but honestly if you don't feel it with your hands you won't be able to to feel the silk you won't be able to feel the leather here's a um, very saturated now Vera Bradley but I'm saying here that the reason this is really dead in the water is because it was so highly counterfeited that's the one reason why I detest counterfeits and but you can still sell these very vintage patterns look those patterns up on eBay look for your sold start at the top look for what's sold and then look for the highest selling one and you will see the patterns that are still sought after also in the handbag market you uh, want to avoid counterfeits it's not worth losing your account over and it just it just reeks of counterfeit everybody can see you have a counterfeit bag but not only that what I want you to know when you can detect a counterfeit look for a style that is not everywhere the never full everyone has it it's going to be counterfeit. fabulous dresses going through there as well that was a prom dress of some sort that was marked for like 50 60 dollars i think no maybe more than that and well, i think someone could have had it for like two dollars <laughs> so fabulous this is lisa frank a brand you always want to pick up i was looking at the furniture they wanted 30 dollars for that armoire and i was thinking you know i have an armoire like this full of bags but i really want to turn it into a jewelry armoire i really want to hang racks in order to place trays of jewelry and then also racks that I can just hang necklaces. You got some cool stuff. Do you mind showing me what's in your basket? I'm doing a little video for YouTube. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just like what you picked out. It looks I like. Got a lot of, uh, Ralph by, uh, Ann Taylor. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that collar on that, that neckline. Some really well -made stuff. Yeah, those are so handy. I'm having to try on all these shoes, though. I've got way too many. Here's another <laughs> lock. That one's pretty. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. I love that umpire waist. I don't know how they're priced, though. That's the only thing I don't the, know. Well, it's pretty cheap, I'll tell you. Because, especially the clothes, they go by the weight. The weight? The weight. So, last time I bought, like, a pile of clothes, and I barely paid $10. Oh, wow. The only time you get a little bit heavier is if you get, like, you know, glass or something like that. Six or three for a dollar, but, oh, that's a that's cute one. Money. What? Is it too old? No, it's really boho and cute because okay. of the neckline and the collar. That, I thought it was one of those Johnny was. Oh, look at this one. This, I mean, a lot of these still have the price tag on them. Look at I know. I saw some with still from the price tag of the Goodwill, but that one's got the store. Yeah. That's a nice collar. Well, let me know if you leave anything, leave anything behind. I like your taste. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. I do. Oh, okay. No, it's. Oh, it's oh, nice. I've been looking for full slips too. I really miss the full slips. Yeah. When you wear a dress, it just keeps you all together, you know. I know. And warm too. Yes. Pantyhose. Mm -hmm. I had to wear pantyhose the other day. I was freezing. Yes. Yeah. This crochet thing you have there. Oh. That's so cool. Actually, I wore this in. You wore that. <laughs> That's your personal. Huh? Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. Thank you. I love it. That looks like one of those hand knit things from Nordstroms or something. I you got it where? Adidas. I heard someone talking about that. Is that that's not a, a uh, thrift store, is it? No, it's, it's just like a discount. Ross or oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Oh, those are nice too. Well, good. I found some cute Doc Martens, but I couldn't find the partner. They were little kids, though. Yeah, I have a couple, but I can't find the partner. For yeah. Those oh, are well. cute that you have on too. It's raining in here, so if I find anything, you'll be. All right, I'll let you try on your shoes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I got a long shop. I got to pay for. Quite the fashionista. She had a basket full of shoes, and I don't blame her. There were some amazing shoes that day. Most are bound up. Sometimes you have to really dig, but it is worth it. You will definitely make money or find some things that you absolutely adore. Please hit the notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. If you haven't subscribed, do so today and don't ever miss a Thrift With Me video. You will get free information on what I do to make money online. Thank you again. Bye-bye.